Australia has a nuclear reactor. It's operated here at Lucas Heights on the southern fringes of Sydney for seven decades. It operates day and night conducting research and supplying Australia's nuclear medicine industry. So here, right next to suburbia, a nuclear reactor operates safely, not threatening lives, but saving them. I'm functionally somebody who refused to serve in the South African Defence Force, so I'm not a big fan of war. A.D. Patterson was sentenced to jail for refusing to put on a uniform. For the last 15 years, this pacifist ran Australia's nuclear reactor and research organisation. I think if we can help people to see that, that, that uranium is, is not scary and that nuclear power is a clean, safe and efficient way of dealing with a lot of these things, we'd have a, a better narrative for our future in energy. Australia is an energy-rich country with massive amounts of coal and gas, not to mention renewable resources. Why on earth would we go down a nuclear path? So we can use sunlight, uh, we can use wind, uh, and we can use this, uh, this embedded uh, high-energy source, uh, thorium or, or uranium. And, and we have got all of those in abundance. So from a perspective of, of international leadership, the idea would be then to get the lowest carbon mix out of the three of those that supported uh, the type of nation that we want to be globally. And the lowest carbon mix must include uh, a nuclear fuel source. Can you even get to net zero by using renewables and energy storage? I don't believe uh, that, it, that, that it is possible. You know, I think there's a hazard in suggesting that that is a good method if you've got a better one available. <laughs> so even if it was a plausible pathway, would you not go for the lowest cost, lowest footprint um, uh, outcome? Do you believe that nuclear energy is vital for Australia's future? I think it's vital for the world's future. I, I think that we're discovering this all the time. I would say if we want the future that we're talking about, which is a, a future that is a low carbon future, uh, that, that honours the earth that we're living in uh, and honours the future generations who will have to take over from us, we would absolutely have a nuclear future. Australia even has legislation that bans nuclear power. Is it unique to have a country like Australia where nuclear energy is illegal? Let's take the G20. Australia is the only G20 country that has a prohibition on nuclear energy and is not currently considering, nor has it historically considered seriously, nuclear energy. 